Let's code a checkerboard background with HTML and CSS. We will start with the body selector. We'll make the width 100 viewport width and the height 100 viewport height just to fill out the page. Then we can choose our colors that we'd like to use. So color one will be black and color two will be white. Now we can start adding our background property, which is where all the magic happens. We can use a conic gradient to create this pattern. A conic gradient plots all the gradients like a clock. What we do is we start with the first color. We'll plot from 0 to 90 degrees. And then we will plot color 2 from 90 degrees to 180 degrees. Now let's look at the preview over here. This is the first segment, 0 to 90. The second segment would start from 90 degrees and stop here at 180. We we will continue with color 1 and plot from 180 degrees to 270 degrees. And lastly, back to color 2 from 270 degrees and if you don't put anything there, we'll just go back to the start. There we have it, but I think this is a bit too large for our purposes, so we might want to create a repeated pattern instead. And to be able to do that, we can use the background repeat property and make it repeat. And we'd probably want to adjust the size of this pattern too. So I will make it 96 times 96. And there we have our checkerboard pattern. You might want to customize this a bit. And personally, I like pink. And I might adjust it to be a little bit lighter too. So let's just pick a cuter color. I think I like this faded pink. So I'll copy that over to our variable. Isn't it cute? I also prepared a Calmoji, of course. I will put that back on the screen. And it's out of center, so let's fix that. I'll use Display Flex, then Align Items to center, and also Justify Content to center, and it should be in the middle now. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and happy coding.